Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm featuring Chinese and Asian animals. Giant panda inhabits the bamboo forest in the mountains of central China. Pandas can easily stand on their hind legs and are commonly observed somersaulting, rolling and dust bathing. They have an enlarged wrist bone that functions somewhat like a thumb, enabling pandas to handle food with considerable dexterity. The giant panda's solitary nature relies on its pronounced sense of smell. A large scent gland located just below the tail and surrounding the anus is used to leave olfactory messages for other pandas. Red panda are an ancient carnivore species and are probably most closely related to skunks, raccoons and weasels. Red pandas live in the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. They are highly territorial and live a solitary existence except during the mating season. They are excellent tree climbers and are able to descend trees head first. They have an extended wrist bone much like the pandas which helps them climb trees and eat bamboo. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Palace cat, elk or moose. China has a great variety of true deer and its close kin the musk deer. The largest deer is the elk, which is found in the Greater and Lesser Kingdom, ranges of the northeast. The moose stands 2 metres tall and weighs as much as 700 kilograms. Roe deer, Sambar deer, Pear David's deer. It is unique. It has the hooves of an ox, the antlers of a deer, neck of a camel and tail of a donkey. It is native to the river valleys of China. Their body length is up to 2.2 metres and 1.2 metres at the shoulder. Yak, as the rat approaches, the males become very aggressive and regularly fight amongst each other to establish dominance and mating rights. They will charge at each other with their heads lowered and spar with their horns. Both sexes have long shaggy hair with a dense woolly undercoat over the chest, flanks and thighs to insulate them from the cold. Snub nose monkey they're named because they only have nostrils and virtually no nose. Four of the five species in the world are found in China. It is diurnal and largely arboreal, spending most of its time in the canopy. Given the only ape that is native to China. They are tree dwellers using their long arms to swing from branch to branch. Their primary mode of locomotion is brachiation, which involves swinging from branch to branch for distances up to 15 metres at speeds as much as 55 kilometres per hour. They can also make leaps up to 8 metres. A novel way to have a drink. That's a better idea. Amur leopard is native to northern China. Its thick fur is pale cream coloured, particularly in winter. In summer, their fur is brighter with more vivid coloration pattern. Males grow to 136 centimetres with a 90 centimetre tail and a shoulder height 
of 78 centimeters. Clouded leopard, snow leopard, spotted seal. It is the only seal species that breeds in China. It is a true seal, which means it doesn't have ears and it can't use its flippers to walk. Indian Crested Porcupine There are three species found in China. This one and the Asiatic Brush-tailed Porcupine and the Malayan Porcupine. Hedgehog They are easily recognised by their spines, which are hollow hairs made stiff with keratin. Their spines are not poisonous or barbed and unlike the crews of a porcupine, do not easily detach from their bodies. The hedgehog's back contains two large muscles that control the position of the quills. All species of hedgehogs can roll into a tight ball in self-defense, causing all of the spines to point outwards. This protects the tucked in face, feet and belly, which are not quilled. Siberian Tiger Prior to estrus beginning, the female will begin advertising her readiness to mate by marking her range with distinctive smelling urine. When a male arrives, a courting process starts. The male initiates various howls and whines to which she responds accordingly. The male will smell her genital area and they will both lick and purr while rubbing their bodies against each other. The male mounts her from behind and takes hold of the loose skin folds on the neck. This is to keep her immobilised. As he dismounts, the female responds by growling and jumping up. She may swipe the male with her paw slap or box at the male, inflicting scratches. Copulations are frequent to stimulate ovulation. This is facilitated by the baculum bone in the penis. Profolski's horse. Much like their equid cousins, the zebras and African wild asses they have never been successfully domesticated. They are the only true wild horse left in the world. Their main predator is wolves. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments and answer all of them. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.